hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel I'm filming another vlog over the next few days which i'm really excited about please excuse my overly chaotic hair i just started dysonine i know dysonine is not a word but like it just fits so it's a word i use um my hair again because i tried doing it a few months ago and every single time i did it i'd spend like an hour doing it and then it would just fall out straight away and i was like really upset about it because then i'd have to spend another like 40 minutes curling my hair because i needed to get content so i wasted many hours um dysoning my hair for it to just fall out so i was a little bit triggered a little bit traumatized and then didn't do it for ages and then i was chatting to my hairdresser angel and she was like make sure you were doing it from wet make sure you wet your hair before you do it um so i tried it again last week for the first time in a few months and it worked like an absolute treat so i've been making sure i like jump in the shower before i go to dice in my hair wet my hair and then do it that way because the reason I was like avoiding doing that is it takes so much longer because you obviously have to keep um, like doing the motions until your hair is completely dry. So obviously when it's completely wet, it takes a lot longer, but it's honestly worth it if you are going to the effort to dice in your hair because you obviously want it to last. So she has been lasting and it's a little bit crazy, but it does end up dropping throughout the day and then it lasts through till the next day as well. So yeah, Dyson my hair. It's looking very extra. I've got some content that I need to shoot and film today. Um, so yeah, that's that. But I have some very exciting news that I wanted to fill you guys in on. I feel like it's not like that exciting. But anyway, Jake and I are moving. If you guys have been keeping up with the vlogs, then you would have seen that we have been on the hunt for somewhere. And the part that's not that exciting is we're actually just moving to another apartment with a different floor plan in the same building that we currently live in, which has actually worked out really well because basically the apartments in our building have really, really great storage. And we've been looking at so many different properties and all of them are just really small or not in the location we want to be in. And we honestly just aren't ready to move from this location just yet. It's super convenient for us. So many of our friends live really close by. And even though we would love to live like further south eventually, we're not ready to make that move just yet. And uh, yeah, just the space. Like these apartments are so spacious. And the apartment we're moving into actually is... So this apartment is three bedroom. We've got our main bedroom, the spare bedroom, which is this room. And then we also have another room, which is our office. Um, so obviously we still want like the same sort of structure in a way. So the apartment we're moving into is two bedrooms. So we'll have the main bedroom and the spare bedroom, but then there's a study as well, which is awesome because we really wanted, we didn't want to downgrade to two bedrooms because then we'd have to get rid of like all of this furniture and get rid of our spare bedroom. And we love having people come and stay with us um, for the weekend and whatnot. So we really didn't want to give that up. But then we obviously also need an office because Jake and I both work from home. So this is sort of like the perfect happy medium. We still get our spare bedroom and we still get an office. So it's very exciting. Obviously the study is a lot smaller than a whole room, um, but it's honestly the perfect size. It has great storage and everything. So we are stoked and we're moving in literally like four weeks which is so exciting it's going to be such an easy move um and even though it's not like a whole new place the floor plan is totally different um and my favorite videos to watch are like moving vlogs so i'm still going to do them even though it's like not that exciting because it's just the same apartment building um i enjoy watching them myself and i feel like a lot of you guys enjoy watching them as well so i'm willing to do some moving vlogs and yeah, I'll show you guys like the new apartment. I'll show you guys the new layout, um, where we're going to put all the furniture. Cause obviously there'll be a different like floor plan and everything. So yeah, I'm so excited and I'll bring you guys along for that. I am actually just about to, well, I need to pack for Sydney. We're going to Sydney tomorrow just to some work things. So, um, I thought I'd just show you guys some of the outfits that I'm going to be taking with me. They're all super cute. I'm actually obsessed with all of these outfits and I know you guys are going to love them. Um, they are all white fox as well. So my discount code for white fox is AliXO. You can use that at the checkout for 15% off and 
yeah, I'll link everything down below for you guys. But the first thing, I'm going to show you guys over here, actually, so you can, like, see better. Okay, so first up, we have this super cute little pajama set. I've been wearing it so much. It's so comfortable. The fabric is really, really soft. And I got it in two different colors. I also love the long sleeves. Just so cute. Um, so, yeah, I've just been wearing these to bed and then getting ready in them and stuff. But um, I got them in the black. And then I also got it in white as well i haven't worn the white yet but the white is super cute as well so we just have these little super comfy shorts and then also have the um the top in the white as well and honestly they're just super comfortable they're like really cute a little bit like cheeky but like adorable if you're just lounging around the house and they're so soft you guys like just perfect for like watching movies and whatever else. This is like a casual or dressy sort of fit. I feel like it could definitely go one of two ways. We have, first of all, this top. It is so beautiful. It's like a like bluish gray, definitely like sort of that charcoal sort of color, I guess. Definitely on the blue side, but it's so pretty. The fit is so nice. They had this in a few other colors as well. I think they had it in the white and then also like a baby pink. I did really want the white, but I thought I'd switch it up and get something a little bit different because everything in this haul is basically black or white or cream or nude um and yeah it's so nice i think the color is really flattering and it's just a really pretty shade and then the back is honestly gorgeous as well it's like an open back and it just ties so you can adjust it and it's super cute and then i just paired it with these black tailored pants actually i have these in the white as well and i'm just obsessed with the fit of them they are so nice such a good casual piece um, and yeah, the fit is amazing. They feel really good on and I love the length that they finish out and everything. They do also have pockets and they're just a really nice tailored pants. So I feel like this would look really nice with a little black, um, heel or you could wear it casually if you wanted to. I feel like it would look, I feel like you need to do either like some nice like black flats or a little kitten heel or something like that. But it is super cute. You could obviously wear these both with different things as well. Like these pants would look amazing with a bodysuit of any form and then like sneakers um, or a bodysuit and like a blazer and heels or whatever and then this top would also look super cute with jeans especially the white one I feel like the white one would look amazing just with like um, some blue denim I feel like that would look really really pretty and just like a really nice summery sunset drinks with your girlfriend side this dress is probably my favorite item from the whole haul I'm just obsessed with it. I think it is so stunning. I wore this to dinner the other night and it was just the biggest vibe and it's really pretty and extra at the same time. But you feel super comfortable because we went to Italian and I was like, I don't want to be wearing like a tight top and jeans or something or pants or a tight dress. Like this, even though it's tight, it's like black and it's mesh. So it's super comfy and black is a little bit more forgiving as well. So it was perfect. So obviously we have the high neckline, which I'm just truly obsessed with. The fit is so perfect around the arms. And then my favorite part is it has this really beautiful low scooped back. And it's just, it's so stunning. I'm obsessed with it. It's so gorgeous. Obviously it's like super, super low. So if you're taller, you'll be... Like, it won't be as low. I personally don't mind it. I think it's really fun and sexy. Um, and it's also a maxi, so it goes the whole way down to my ankles. So, I didn't actually wear underwear with this um, because there's no need. Because um, it is, like, a maxi, you're fine. It's not going to, like, fly up or anything. But, yeah, it's honestly so, so pretty. And I'm just obsessed with it. I think it's stunning. And the fabric is really nice. And it just, like, fits your body so well i got this top in the white last month and then i saw that they'd restocked it in the black so naturally I had to get it in the black as well it is just so stunning the fit of it is insane and i love it so much so we just have this black corset top it is an absolute dream it has like the mesh detailing and the boning down the front and then it just zips up at the back and then it also has these really fun like sort of like buckle vibe bits that hang down and they're super cool and then I just paired it with these cargos they're a really sick like charcoal grey colour and I'm obsessed with them I wore this the other day just casually to the shops with um just like my Nike mids is that what they're called? Nike mids I can't remember um and like the black and the white and they look so sick and just like a really cool casual fit and it's a little bit like it's not edgy but it is a little bit I guess and I just love 
this vibe. These pants are so comfy as well, you guys. I'm obsessed with them. This dress is so cute, you guys. It's like a halter neck style top, and then it just has sort of like a cow neck scoop front, and then yeah, just like does up at the back there, but I love the open back situation. It's super adorable. I love this fabric. It's like a really pretty, like chiffony, like sheer sort of vibe. It's not see-through at all, but yeah, it's super cute and the fit of it's really nice. They also have a few different colors as well, I think. I think they had like a pink, which is a little bit fun. And then of course the black, which is obviously my go-to. This one is so hot, you guys. It's like a little, um, rumper and it's made out of that like one size fits all slinky sort of fabric it just molds to your body and honestly it just looks so incredible I love it in the black I feel like it's so hot and I love just like the whole shape of this I love the high neck I love the cutouts down the front and then the length that the bottoms finish out and everything as well I'm definitely gonna wear this at some point with some really high black stiletto heels and just like a little black bag um, I love like the sheer parts as well. It's just so cute and definitely perfect for any special occasions you have coming up. This one is made with that same slinky material, but it's just a dress. Sorry, I really need to be taller. I can't really show you guys, but it's just a dress and it has like sheer parts the whole way up your body, which is really fun. And then it just has this extra little piece here, which is just a little like shawl or or Bolero or whatever and then it has the thumb holes and you guys I love I love thumb holes so much I feel like this one's a lot more chic the other one's like baddie vibes and then this one's a little bit more tame so they both have they each have their purpose okay but it's honestly just such a nice little like black bodycon dress and it's really comfy and I love the Valero situation. This is another one that I'm obsessed with. I just think it's, again, it's so hot. Love it in the black. So it's just a black bodysuit actually. And then it's just this skirt. I like to ruche it up and make it like mini. I feel like that's really fun. And then pair it with boots. Such a hot fit. I'm obsessed. So it is like a high cut bodysuit. You can wear it like that if you want to, um, but I think it looks cute showing a little bit of skin. So if you just like ruche it down, you can kind of do whatever you want, but I feel like that's like, just like a bit fun but yeah obviously if you wanted to you could just wear it like that as well and it's just such a nice fabric it's like almost like it's not a crepe fabric it's like really soft but it reminds me of like a crepe fabric i don't know if you guys can like see that but it's really nice and the fit is just great and then i also got this nighty you guys and it is so cute this nightgown and if you have any special occasions coming up if you have a birthday if you have a hens or i don't know even if you're like a bride this would be so cute it has the feathers it's like a silky white i think they do have this in a black as well but it's just honestly so cute so if you have any special occasions coming up or like a girl sleepover or slumber party this would be so adorable for that. I love it so much. It just screams like extra and we love extra. That is everything for that little haul though, you guys. I will, like I said, link everything down below for you. I just got some work to do now and then I'm going to pack for tomorrow. So I'll show you guys everything that I have packed. Hopefully it's like organized. Look how pretty the sunset is, you guys. I love it when it's cloudy and it goes like really pink. It was honestly so stunning before. Um, but it's kind of like disappeared a little bit. I've just finished packing almost. I've got all my clothes and stuff sorted. So all my clothes are in here. I love this suitcase. It honestly fits so much. It's so spacious. I've still got so much room. Um, I just have my sunnies out, bags, and then the heels I'm going to be taking with me. I still need to get my sneakers, um, as well, but I'm just trying to decide on what, I want to wear to the airport tomorrow. These are my three options. So we have like a lounge option. My only worry is like the heat. This is like a puff print um, hoodie vibe, which would be super comfy. So that's option one. Then we also have this option here, which is, it's just a black bodysuit. I have this in the white as well. And it's honestly so comfortable. The fabric is so soft. If you guys have any of their um, like white foxes, like their bodysuits or those like t-shirts. It's that fabric and it's so nice. And then I also have these pants in the white as well and they're super comfy. So I've got them in the black as well. So that's a potential option like this with my YSL bag, New Balance sneakers or something. Could be a big vibe. Um, or activewear is the other option. So 
that's everything packed for now and then tomorrow morning I just need to put in my hair care stuff, makeup, skincare, um, hair tools and stuff like that. So we're basically ready to go. That's like the main packing. I just need to grab like jewelry and stuff as well. I literally have my like jewelry like scattered all throughout the house because it lives in like all of these little random trays throughout my apartment. morning officially you guys sorry i haven't really vlogged much this morning i've been running around all over the place trying to get organized before i go away i did go to hustle this morning i went for my morning walk and everything and that was great i got up nice and early i got up like just before five just so i could squeeze it all in before i had to start getting ready um so yeah that was really good i'm feeling good after working out i just feel so much more energized if I start my morning with a workout. So that is great. Um, I'm all ready to go. Jake's gonna drop me off at the airport. He's actually not coming down until tomorrow. So I'm gonna be staying there by myself tonight because I have some work to get done. And then he'll meet me down there tomorrow. So I'm really excited to be spending the night there by myself. Honestly, hotel rooms to yourself for the night are literally one of the best things ever. Would absolutely recommend. I'm very keen. Um, so yeah. I'm wearing this, I think this is one of the outfits I showed you guys yesterday. It's just this black bodysuit and then these black tailored pants, just my New Balance. And then I also just have my YSL bag and then sunnies and whatnot. <laughs> For literally the first time in my life, I almost missed checking in, but luckily the flight got delayed, so we're good. I just got these for when I'm on the plane, because we don't land till three, so I'm just gonna eat those on the plane for lunch, and I'm just gonna have this now for breakfast. I was gonna eat a coffee, but I think I'll just get one when we land, because I only just recently had pre workout, so I'm gonna have this now. It's a little bit bad. I am finally here. I'm so exhausted. I don't know why. I feel like it's just been like lots of travel today and just like waiting around and it makes me so tired. I was so energized this morning, but we are finally here. I'm just staying at Zara Hotel. Um, it's honestly so nice here. The lighting is amazing and I'm basically getting content over the next few days. So this apartment is perfect for that. I'm um, just going to give you guys a little tour. So we have the bathtub here and then... This is like the sort of like get ready area. It's really, really cute. My sonny's in my bag are all over at the front door, but there's like another mirror here. And the lighting's just really great in this apartment. And then in here we just have a little like bathroom, but it's literally so random. I haven't stayed here in months and they were like, we have a package for you. And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> They're like, we have a package for you that got delivered a month ago. Um, but I literally, yeah, haven't stayed here in months, so I don't know what this package is, but like it has my name and everything on it. And they're like, yeah, we saw you were staying here again. So we held it for you, but I only booked this like a week ago. So I don't really know what's happening there, but anyway, um, yeah, my flight was delayed by, oh, it's also really nice and sunny. My flight was delayed by like two hours which was unfortunate but the sun is shining i'm going to honestly probably just chill out for a little bit i'm really tired for some reason i've had my coffee like you guys can see so hopefully this saves me i also might read a little bit of my book i'm just gonna like i'm gonna like sort my life out like unpack I've been reading November 9. I finished It Starts With Us and it was so good, you guys. It just made me really giddy and it was honestly just the best. But I'm reading November 9 now. I'm like halfway through and it's pretty good. It's not like my favorite, but yeah, I'm going to unpack now. I just have you guys sat on like the back of the headboard. I'm going to order some food. I am very, very excited because... You girls hungry and the daylight savings is like getting me a little bit because this is 8 30 but it obviously doesn't feel like it because i'm coming from the gold coast where it's only 7 30 and this is like around the time that i've sort of been having dinner lately usually like i feel like i have it earlier in winter but i think that's just because it gets like darker earlier but 
One second, this camera's about to die. I need to change the battery. Okay, we're back. The camera battery is nice and charged. I feel like I don't get reception in here without the Wi-Fi. So, yeah, I literally only have one bar, which is so bizarre. What's it called? you I'm trying to remember the Wi-Fi password. I got it. Um, I got all of the content that I needed tonight. So, that is amazing. Um, yeah, I'm going to order some food. I sort of already know what I want. I'm hoping they still have it on here because I always, like, pre-plan what I'm gonna get on Uber Eats and then I'll be like so keen for it, have my heart set on it and then something will just like go wrong and like the store won't be open or something or it'll be like they're not doing that specific item that I was like craving or something. It's so bizarre and it happens to me all the time. But I'm craving these, it's so random, but it's like these chips and gravy and uh, my friends well our friends um they used to live in sydney for a little while and when we came down and stayed with them they introduced me to it it's called cammy's and i'm praying it's on here they introduced me to this chips and gravy and you wouldn't think it's that good but it's honestly so delicious and i had it and then on our last night we went on like a break party i can't remember what it was for but we got home so drunk and ordered these chips and gravy and they were incredible and we were so drunk so we were like we need to like sober up before we go to sleep the only issue was that my gravy to chip ratio was way off so i went to go order more gravy and they were closed because it was like after 9 30 or something and i was like damn it so I placed another order somewhere else because at this point I'm like really craving more gravy. Like I'm not just going to eat their chips, the chips on their own at this point. I'm like craving more gravy. So I placed another order elsewhere and it was like obviously had to get a few extras. Um, I literally woke up at 1am. There was four of us in this apartment, right? So there was two of them, the people that lived there, they showered went to bed whatever jake and i literally fell asleep on the couch which was like a futon style couch so the bed wasn't even made we fell asleep i fell asleep with the box of chips and my fork stuck in the chips like fell asleep and jake fell asleep sitting up as well and i had all these missed calls on my phone because it was like a huge complex so the uber driver we'd fallen asleep and the uber driver had like tried contacting us but we were asleep and didn't hear it and they could never get in so they just took the order and i yeah it was just in shock i woke up in shock and i was like oh my god what have i done so yeah that was really fun um if anyone else has done something similar please make me feel better and let me know i would love to hear your unsuccessful uber eats stories i've actually had so many oh my god there's another one we always go stay up the sunshine coast with my family it's literally like my favorite thing to do we just stay at this like it's not even new at all it's super old but we stayed there for years and it's just the best like they have the pool the spa anyway just like we have the best memories there so we'll stay there usually once a year with my family and i just love it anyway jake and i went up a day early the last time we stayed there and i was craving like on the gold coast there's oh my waffle so i was craving like something some sweet and it was i think it was 7 30 at this point when i was looking on uber eats and uh, everywhere had like a sort of like an hour wait time and i was like okay if i order uber it's now it'll be 8 30 i can go to bed at nine and it's like not too bad you know like we've got a window it's fine so i saw this place and they did literally like an own my waffle thing and i was like perfect ordered that the wait was like 55 minutes it's fine distracted myself for 55 minutes the uber arrived i went downstairs outside went and met them they hand me a burrito bar bag and I was like this isn't my order and he was like oh sorry um and then he like called someone or whatever and he was like I'll be back and I was like okay so I go back inside and then five minutes later it's like your order was cancelled so he obviously had handed someone else my order and then he just had to cancel it because they would have already eaten it. So I would have had to place a whole nother order and it would have taken a whole nother hour. And at this point it was almost nine o'clock anyway because Ubers are usually late. And I was left without dessert. But at this point I was like literally 
like the devil. I would do anything for a dessert right now. So I did force Jake to go and get cold rock with me, but I wasn't even feeling cold rock and it didn't really satisfy me as I had hoped. But yeah, there's just been lots of like occasions like that for me. So I don't know if it's because I'm cursed or because I order Uber Eats too much. So it just, it just happens. Anyway, I need to see if they have this available right now. I think they do. I don't know. I definitely checked the other day, but knowing my luck, they might. Nah, I reckon it'll be good. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if they. Oh, we're on. The place is called Cammy's. So good. It's so good. And I'm just going to get gravy loaded fries with chicken. And I think I will get extra gravy. I don't need to have the same mistake as last time. They also do like burgers and like salads and like you can choose like your protein and then get the salads or whatever. All right, we are placing our order. Also, I think I'm gonna film a, um, a Q and A as a separate video because otherwise this video will just go too long. So I think I'm gonna film a Q and A. I was gonna do it when my food arrives, but I may as well just film it now because let's be real when my food arrives i'm gonna want to eat so mm, i should probably get a bottle of water right we're on so i'm gonna start filming my q a now and then i'll check in with you guys when my food arrives i just finished filming the q a i actually smashed that out which is great still waiting on my dinner it said 9 10 and it is now 9 10 um so now it's updated to say it's coming at 9 30 so it's gonna be a very late dinner. Wow, I feel like the day's just gone so quickly. I feel like when you were traveling and you like, like it's just like dead time almost, like the delays and stuff, it's just like, you're not actually like achieving anything sometimes. Like I'll be doing productive stuff, but like not as productive as I could be, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, also, this is like such a random thought of mine, but I love being away like this, like on my own, because I feel like I can interact with you guys more. I know that sounds silly, but I feel like because I've lived with Jake my whole life, basically, which isn't like obviously the best thing ever, but I feel like in terms of work and like YouTube, obviously I'd rather spend my time with Jake, but I do feel like if I lived alone, I would vlog and stuff a lot more and like interact with you guys a lot more which is such a random thought I know it just like crosses my mind sometimes obviously it's ideal to live with my incredible boyfriend and live our best lives together but it does make me sad that I don't get to yeah interact with you guys as much and I know you could say like oh I could just do it like when I'm at home but I just want to with Jake when I'm at home so yeah it's kind of nice like being away and just chatting and being on my own because I feel like I've got more you know time to kill I've got to talk to someone so I'll just talk to the camera instead of talking to someone else um so yeah random but I thought I'd just share that thought with you guys I'm so excited you guys my food is here I also realized I didn't order cutlery so let's just pray that there is cutlery otherwise I'm gonna be eating with my Fingers. Oh, yum. I was right. There's no calorie. Oh my God. Guys. These chips and gravy are literally mm, out of this world. I have to use my fingers because I didn't get cutlery. I hate how they don't give you cutlery with you. Uber Eats. Oh my god. I don't know what they do to these chips, but they are insane. So good. I might see if I can bring me one. Nine. 
some groovy music. Ooh. Hi, I was wondering if there was any possibility of getting a fork brought to my room. Oh, if I could have it now, that'd be awesome because my food will go cold. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks, bye. What honey? Mmm. Oh my god. Alright, our ratios are a little off, so we're going in with the spare gravy. I'm not gonna lie, this would be better microwave, but I'm just gonna have to battle it out. Honestly, oh yeah, I got my fork, guys. I've like demolished these. Mmm. Yum. I was hoping the gravy would be like a little bit warmer, and it is. My Starbucks arrived. I just got an ice long black, of course. How cute is the Christmas cup, by the way? And then I also did get a chocolate brownie for later because I just love brownies and I know I'm going to crave something sweet later. Look at all that icing sugar. I'm so excited. I'm going to put that in. Oh, do I want it cold? Do I want to put it in the fridge or leave it out so it gets like warm? I'm undecided, but I'm going to take this while I get ready. I literally had the best sleep of my life last night. It was so good. Um, I just felt like I was sleeping in an actual cloud. I really want like a hotel bed sheets and like like can someone just tell me the secret because i would love to know they're so like fluffy and amazing um it obviously helps not sleeping with the dogs as well because jake and i sleep with the dogs every night so they're always moving around and we always joke about it we're like if we were to track our sleep i wonder how bad it would be compared to how it used to be because we used to sleep so well we still like are really good sleepers we sleep um like we go to bed really early wake up really early and have like a good sleep but i know i'm just like a little bit more tired than i probably would be if we just slept by ourselves because yeah they're always like moving around and you're like trying to like move around them and then obviously you probably have like we probably have a lighter sleep because we know that they're there and like we don't want to squish them i don't know if that's like a thing or not but i feel like it'd be very interesting to track how we sleep with them versus how we sleep without them but i still wouldn't trade it for the world because i love snuggling them it's actually the best thing ever um and i love it i'm gonna give myself a straw and yeah do my makeup <laughs> done i'm going to show you guys my lip combo because it's probably my most frequently asked question and the lip combo i used to do i have officially run out of so i was on the hunt for ages trying to find basically the as close as i could to the same the exact same would have been amazing but the old lipstick i used to use was the huda beauty one it got discontinued and i did stock up on a heap of them before they discontinued um but i just ran out of my very last one so i bought so many lipsticks trying to find the right shade and i haven't been successful until now i was actually in my storage unit i don't even know if they make these anymore so i hope they do and i found my old like i came across my old acrylic makeup drawers found these two in there so these are the anastasia beverly hills lipsticks this one is naked and then this one is stripped and they kind of, when they're put together, create the same 
lip combo. So I just use the Oak Lip Liner by MAC. Um, I do that around the outside of my lips. It's not like super dark, it's quite nude. And I do this as like, you have a little hair there, like the overlining. And then I used to do um, strip down as well, which I do sometimes do, but I haven't really been doing it lately, so I might not worry about that. Basically, I usually use this one first as the overlining and then do strip down like, like I guess around my normal lip shape. Like that. And then I just sharpen this as well, so it's gone like a little bit darker than it would usually be. And then I go in with the darker shade of the lipstick, which is stripped down. This is very, very matte lipstick, you guys. So you need to have as little on your applicator as possible. And I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't wear this without a gloss either, just because it does go super matte. So the tiniest little bit. And I just put it very lightly. Over my lips. You could honestly probably just do the shade and it would be really pretty, but then I, did I do it in the right order? Yes. Yeah. And then this one is super light. So this one is naked. And again, you wanna get all of that product off. Just really scraping it here it's kind of good because it's going to go a very long way and then i just go over the top see how much lighter that is so it is super light you could obviously just do the other one if you prefer a darker lips. Sorry, my phone's going off. Who is this? Bronte's messaging me heaps. And then, oh, Jake's on his way. And then Jake's just sending me his questions. Um, and then I just go, you can kind of see it already went quite matte, but I just go in with the gloss straight away so it doesn't have time to get super matte and that is the lip combo we're rolling without the moment so i'm gonna clean up this mess jake is almost here and then yeah i'll check in with you guys when we're up to something hey guys <sighs> guess who's here what up people jakey's here um what did you bring me pliers and Plies. Lucky I've got scissors. Straight from Bunnings. Bunnings. Acts of service is my love language and I messaged him this morning and I said, what did he say? He said, don't forget to go buy pliers. And he said, already got them. Haha. <laughs> and honestly, nothing makes me love you more. So I guess what we're going to do. Oh, uh, now we get to pull your um, hair extensions out. out. So pray for us. Wish is us it actually... Like that easy or? I don't know, we're gonna find out. So Angel, my hairdresser said that you have to cut them, like the the thread. The thread. There's a thread, we'll get to it. And then you have to like ply the beads together. So we're gonna section off my hair. We'll do the bottom first, I think. We also ordered food. Jake's actually been here for quite a while. I'm really struggling to find this bottom row been here for quite a while so i've gotten all of my well the majority of my work done i woke up gonna have some food. she tells me to get lost i did so i got lost for an hour and a bit yeah he went and worked at a cafe and i finished the work it was I had actually to do. a park bench oh sorry there was no cafe sorry what did you do you walked to it you thought there was I a walked starbucks to it. and it wasn't yeah it's That's not there really anymore unfortunate. i'm just trying to think like how you do it yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you. We'll try to. Okay, so see how there's the row there? Mm. You need to just make sure you don't cut my actual hair. Mm. But there should be like, I can't see, but there should be like thread 
of some sort. You can probably FaceTime Angel. Yeah. <gasps> Our food's on its way. We literally ordered that like five minutes ago. That was so fast. She's probably not gonna answer, she's at work. Do you um, mean you can see it? You can probably I, take I a know, photo I for know me. What she means. You know what she I mean, means? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. red is just like Yeah, this take white a photo. Shape. Also guys, I'm the slowest coffee drinker in the world. My ice is all melted and that's all I've had and Jake just had a huge sip too. Yeah, so those white bits. Yeah, I'll cut them. Yeah, so cut that. Mm -hmm. And then see that bead, the grey bit, that's what we'll apply yeah, together. Right. Let's do it. You got this. Can you come sit here though? You want me to come I'm trying to break my back. in between your legs? Yeah. Mm. <sighs> like here? Or you want me higher? That's good. That is fun fact. Jake used to be able to fishtail braid my hair. He learned how to do it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much he loved me. He'd do it for school. For me to go to school with fishtail braid. That is so funny. That's so cute. That's was, some commitment. Um, one of my talents is just watching something once and then being able to do it. <laughs> Except for that doesn't apply to directions. Directions? Yeah. Well, like you'd think that given you can do that, like with YouTube videos and whatever, like you with your nunchucks and whatnot, you'd think you'd be able to like see where you're going and then oh, remember where to go. I'm, the difference is I'm wanting to learn this thing. Yeah, that's whereas true. Whereas when I'm driving my head's off in the fairies. Yeah, that's true. You're not paying attention. Oh, our food's almost here. Should you go get it? Okay. Sure, I'll eat that first. Be right back. Oh, that's my actual hair. What? Just how short it is. Uh -huh. Why are you taking it out? So natural. Why are you taking it out? Um, because I'm getting my hair done on Tuesday, like my fresh color, and it's just easier for Angel to do like a full head of foils without oh, okay. my extensions in. And um, I was due to get my extensions moved up anyway. Up. Yeah, like, and you get them moved up every six weeks. Oh, yeah. And because I'm getting my hair done on Tuesday, Sunday and Monday are probably the only two days. The whole no, probably like I was gonna say the whole summer, but that's being dramatic. But over the next few months, that I can go fully swimming. <gasps> I know, I get my head wet because I feel like if you go swimming after freshly dyed hair, it just like pulls all the color out. So. <laughs> a shame. I wonder if I can do this on my own. It's probably not very wise because I can't see shit. Like, surely if I... Like, I don't know which way you do it. Maybe this... I'm so impatient. I'm not even getting it in the, in the gap. Oh, there we go. No, it's not going to work. Anyway, look how short my hair is. Angel always says it's growing. I think it actually is so because that's quite decent. Also, look what appeared after last night's meal. Yo! He is back! We got Cammy's again because Jake obviously didn't have it last night. Do you reckon I have cutlery? Um, I actually got some. It's in the bathroom. I got some delivered last night. I got the exact same thing Good I got job. last night because um, it's the best. That's her in the daylight. Oh my god, it's actually hot this time. Look how steamy that is. I'm excited. I did look at other options on Uber Eats, but nothing was really tickling my fancy. And I feel like there'll be more options for dinner. And Jake really wanted this protein. My god, bowl, you so. think? Look how good it is. I had is this exact same had? thing last night. Oh yeah, my god. it was so good. Oh, I just broke the whole napkin. Lovely. And then Jake got... Um, also, we're being really boring. We're basically not leaving this apartment until tomorrow. So we're not going out or anything. Yum. Hell so yeah. you can choose like your protein and then your sides. You got Is that a beef patty? Hell yeah. That's so funny. So he got a beef patty, chicken breast, coleslaw, sweet potato. That actually looks really... Yum. I actually love this place. Yes, yeah, so good. Where did my fork go? Did you just take it off me? No. Or am I blind? blind. What did I do with it? <sighs> nah. It's gonna be... Babe, where is it? I don't know, folks. Please help me. Is there another cutlery packet? 
Actually, you didn't steal it. I have one. Good one, yeah. Pretty good. Do you want to try this though? Because it's actually wild. Um, I'm sure. Even just try the shredded chicken on top. Alright. Oh, you have to try chicken though. It's really good. I need to feel it. Push. Yeah, just don't feel it. Wow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I told you. How good is that? That's basically like the perfect, um, like, like consistency and flavor. Mm hmm. We are so full, you guys. Ah. Just devoured that. You ate all that? Yep. How full are you? Very. <laughs> okay, this is the part where it's a bit confusing because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I don't know which way the beef need to go. Should I go here? Mm -hmm. uh, see how they do it now. Yeah. yeah. Like how they do your hair. Yeah. Like thread through. Mm. What a pain. Yeah, you have to like, like they fully, it's called a weft. How so they fully like take? weave. Mm, if you get some fast, like two hours for mine, not even that. <clears throat> and they'll style it at the end too. But if it's like on top of getting my hair dyed, then it, I'm in there for ages. Oh, like six hours or more. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I can't breathe. We're going to need a nap after this. <laughs> Around the last <coughs> stretch, you guys, my camera ran out of battery, so, I mean memory, sorry, so. It's I been guess. five hours. <laughs> yeah, no, you've actually powered through it. It's What's actually this? really easy. Oh, that's an extension. I was like, my hair's not that long. It's actually really easy. Yeah. Look at you go. So guys, if you've ever wanted to remove your extensions, all you need yep. is some nice, no, small, like, nails. <laughs> You can hire um, Jake, or you can get some nice nails. A thousand an hour. A thousand an hour. The service is just so good. So good. Good chats along the way. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Get a bit of everything. It's the last of my hair. And then the rest. Yeah, I just need to do. Oh, you need to do the beads. Yeah. That's actually like, it's not bad. Not bad. Like the length of my hair right now. It's pretty good. Like it's not too bad that length. How long are you it used to be in pretty for? sure. Like it feels quite thick still too. Obviously it was Dyson, so how long has this been in for? Um these been in for probably like five weeks. I'm not sure, but it'll be around that. Would your hair grow at the same rate as mine or yeah, um, sure. similar? I don't know. My hair grows really Yeah, quick. so see my regrowth, I get that done like like I got that done like four weeks ago, so that's yeah. how much my hair grows. Does she do down to the root? Nah. Oh, she does, yeah. She on the top of my hair, but not, like, not in through the back here. That's all dark because we leave it. Should I dye my hair blonde at some it. point? Maybe one day. You were going to do that a while ago, but... I'd hate to dye it blonde and then I look fucking hate. stupid because then I can't go back. <laughs> yeah, well, you can. No, it looks weird dyeing your hair, like, brown, though. Like, yeah, but it's going to grow out at some point. Oh, yeah, I'll just have to cop it looking shit. Yeah. Or I shave my head. Oh my god. I don't know <laughs> if I could handle that. <sighs> Is that it? Nope. I just need to pull all that. On the home stretch. My camera keeps running out of memory. I need to upload it to my laptop, but my laptop also keeps running out of memory. I just need to. Oh my god, you're gonna pull all my hair out. Do ah! Let me do it. Okay. Oh my god. You're so rough though. No, I'm not. Okay, I got it. Okay. Are we good? Is that it? Yeah, you're done. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Imagine if I had my hair short again. Imagine if I was just like... Oh my god, you just keep your, smacking um, my face. Your, <clears throat> my hairdresser. What's it your hairdresser your and Chris makeup Appleton. Artist. Who's the dude that does Chris Appleton. Kim and shit? <laughs> yeah, I love him. He's the best. Should I go short again, guys? Kidding. No, I would if my, um, my forehead wasn't so big. What if we did... Oh, stop. You keep grabbing my face. Yeah, what do you want to do? Around, a little up to? Around here, so. And then <laughs> no, we go straight. Look, so it's like a wall. What are you doing? Head. Oh my god. Jake is going to the gym, and then there's me. 
eating my chocolate brownie. My diet has been so bad in the past 24 hours. I'm just editing this video while I wait for him to get back. Honestly, there's not that much happening right now. This literally looks like slop, you guys. Look at it, Jake. Like, it's saucy, but... Show me? Mm. Show me? Oh my god. Yeah, it's not that good. I don't know. Mm. Just a bit... Ugh. It's got like a weird undertaste. No, it genuinely has a weird like... I don't know what it is. But what's that other bit you got with it? It's bread. It's got some weird... Like maybe they put some weird like like too much truffle oil or something in it good morning guys we are about to check out we're actually going to a studio to shoot today and we have lots of work to get done so i'm not going to bring you guys along i also feel like i've chatted so much during this video so i'm going to sign off here and i will see you guys in my next video but thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye